a beautiful morning in a beautiful train station. This is Union Station in downtown Utica, fashioned after Grand Central New York. Hello again, everybody. This is Miguel Tito, the North Country Latino, and we're live here on the way to Florida. Jensen Beach, Florida, near a stop, West Palm, and we rent a car and go up. And there's my kids. <laughs> we take this journey we've been waiting for for four months. And we have left Utica. As, well, the world's going by. It's been a long time since I've been on a train other than the Adirondack Scenic Railroad, which is a pretty much right now a tourist train. Took the Amtrak to Albany way back in 1982 to visit old neighbors and moved away strollers. So we're pretty much leaving. Gonna get into New York about a little before one o'clock. See you in New York, Penn Station. Everybody, while we're here live in Penn Station in New York City, and guess who popped in? Our favorite music educator, Anissa Gonin, known in the past ten days as Anissa Arnival. Anissa, we knew that you came to visit us. There was no other reason for you to come in the city today but to visit us. I mean, what is your impression of this beautiful station, Penn Station? We're live here. And what do you think of Penn Station? Can I go with you? It's wonderful. <laughs> Very hot today. Yeah, Nisa went to college with Wendy and I back in the 90s, and she stopped in to say hello. So anyways, we'll see you guys a little later as we get on the Silver Meteor to go to Florida. Bye. Okay, you know what's going to get lost really fast? If you're in a dining car, boy, you can even get hummus on a train. That's pretty incredible. Now, this is the kind of Christmas tree I would love to have. I know, just kidding, living in the North Country. Pelican at the bottom. Moving parrot here. Isn't that awesome? Like something out of Disney. The only thing it doesn't do is say, dead men tell no tales. Live here from the flea market on a Sunday afternoon. There's nothing like flea markets like this up north. These Sunday flea markets in the south, the weekend flea markets are huge. I'm just getting started, so this is just the first section. We'll see what we got a little later on. They got some cool stuff in Cadiz and Huerto's types, man. I think I'm going to snag one. Well, a couple years ago, I did that joke where I took a picture from a tropical calendar, put it in front of the screen on one of my cooking shows and said it was live from Puerto Vallarta. Well, this is not a joke. This is real. We're live here from Jensen Beach in Florida. The Miguel Tiro de North Carolina Latino Show is on location. Jensen Beach is a beautiful Atlantic Coast beach. And look at that surf coming in today. Look at those waves. It's beautiful. It's like 80 some odd degrees out here on the 29th of December. Beautiful beach. Nice little crowd. Not too many people. Nice place to walk. This is in the state park itself. Or county park. I forget which is <laughs> Coming down here to the water. There's my Ninos. They don't know their special guests on the show right now, but there they are playing in the water. There's my father-in-law, Bob, and there's Wendy, enjoying the surf. I'll tell them later they're on the show. <laughs> That's okay. It was fun at the flea market this morning, but the beach is going to be the best. It doesn't look like it's going to rain right away. It's a little cloudy in the sky, but oh well, it's typical. It's like when we live in Myrtle Beach and... Uh, South Carolina and everything was like that, but you just kind of went with it, you know? The thing about searching for shells on a beach on any given day is it's touch and go. Some days you get little ones like this. Some days you got a lot more. Some days you can't find any to save your life. There's some around. When we lived in Myrtle Beach, or excuse me, in King Street, went to Myrtle Beach and went to Huntington Beach, it was like that. We'd find some days were like bees, some days were like famine. side of the beach is more populated. You can see all kinds of people down there. And now I know why. This is the Jurisdicta State Park side. 
This side over here, that used to be a Holiday Inn, except one of the last hurricanes that came in, oh, a year or two ago, basically took this Holiday Inn Express out of commission. So somebody's bought it and they're apparently going to restore it into another hotel of uh, a different ownership. So that's why there's not many on that side of the beach, but down here you got a lot of people in town enjoying the day. I'm hanging out here in downtown Jensen Beach, kind of like the, the shopping dining strip. We won't be here for it, but they have this cool Thursday night uh, music and art festival that goes on, I guess, pretty, pretty consistently. There's Crawdaddy Seafood Place. I think that's a chain. I think they had Crawdaddy's in Charleston when we were there. We got one here in Jensen Beach. It's kind of a quaint little strip here. I'm going to take it in. Oh, it looks like a sidewalk cafe down there. Mulligan's Beach House over there, which is one of the seafood joints. Got a big marina down here. Kind of hitting the end of the downtown, the end of this strip anyways. Then you got the docks over yonder and under those trees. Coming up here on the walkway of the Indian River Causeway. Beautiful views out there. <laughs> Probably the traffic. No, I mean, this side's a little better. Part of the intercoastal waterways of this area of Florida, the Treasure Coast, as it's called. The one thing I found in downtown that's a little interesting compared to a lot of the places we've been, such as all the years we lived in the South Carolina beach areas, Huntington Beach, Myrtle Beach, and have visited since then. Plymouth this past summer, anywhere, but they don't tend to have any of those kind of shops to like get the kids like Jensen Beach t-shirts and, and stuff like that, the way you see in a lot of coastal towns. Very conservative, very different. Beautiful grove of palms here along the walkway of the causeway. A lot of places. Just a different kind of Florida, if you will. This is along the little boardwalk of the Causeway Park they have here, right out on the river. Dad and Matthew went out deep sea fishing this morning. Hope they caught something. Of course, that's the biggest thing to do around here. See <laughs> all kinds of uh, really cool birds and stuff. Seagulls, herons, cranes, pelicans, sandpipers, everything you want. There's a whole bunch of pelicans down here. I don't know if I can get them. They're past these. Uh, seagulls that are here. Let's see if we can go down. We got these seagulls all in a row <laughs> hanging out on the fence. If they if they think I'm gonna feed them they're dead wrong. But over here we have a whole bunch of pelicans. Let's see if we can get closer. There they are all along this little dock here. Isn't that cool? Happy Pelican Day everybody. Okay, this is what's happening. Got some deep sea fishermen down here. They're doing their filleting and throwing this stuff into the water. And the pelicans and the other birds there, the seagulls. And I guess it's all this is pelicans and seagulls are just having a field day. Trying to eat what the fishermen don't keep. You know, you usually don't get this close to pelicans every day. At least I've never been. I've just seen them fly over and fly into the ocean. And probably the closest I ever came to a pelican was on a tour boat in Fort Myers, Florida several years ago when I was a teenager. 
one came and stuck its head in into the bow to visit everybody, but then eventually flew away. But to see them just kind of hang out here, they're obviously very hungry and know that they're going to get fed. And of course, they're looking around, flying around. So it's been pretty cool watching these pelicans hang out this morning. They're a beautiful bird. I love them. Seagulls are beautiful too, but I mean, you see seagulls in all kinds of places. You don't know, see pelicans in all kinds of places. Seagulls come to the parking lot in Boonville in the summer. I mean, there's no water to be found except for the Black River Canal. There was one pelican that found its way up to Old Forge a couple summers ago. It was like a rare oddity, brown pelican. All right, have a nice day. I love to see him. And this is Conky Joe's Seafood, probably the best seafood place in Jensen Beach. We're not going to eat it while we're here because Kathy's got an awesome menu for us to eat at home, but I'm going to get a sandwich in here, one of their conch specials and bring it with us in our cooler to eat on the train back home. All right, all those times I've been in New York City and taking pictures and whatever of Tito Puente Way and Machito Way and everything like that, this would be my next place to live in Florida here, Northeast Mango Terrace. Now all I gotta do is find a street named after a toucan and I'm all set. And now we're live here poolside at the Blue Heron Cottages and Trailer Park. It's an awesome trailer park. This is where Dan and Kathy have staked their part owners and everything with the other people. And then right across the way is Indian River, and way across the river is Hutchinson Island. You go across that causeway, and you're on the island, and there's the pier that goes along with Blue Heron Cottages. And this is an awesome pool. It's like, I'm not really sure what the wind is, the temperature, it's a windy day, but the pool is like 85 degrees. It's like putting your feet in paradise. Or getting in, if you will. You're not going to get in with the camera. The thing would sink to the bottom and that'd be it. You know what I'm saying. But this is an awesome pool. And it's just been one of those days where you just come out and it's not too overbearing. because It's a little cloudy. But the air feels good and so does the water. Just the last little gasp of Christmas here. This really oh, cool estate kind of in the area has a very Vegas looking Christmas light display they put on every year. And there it is right there. Going by it. <clears throat> We're coming back through the other side we got out. You can see the immensity of this whole display and the immensity of the mansion behind it. You didn't just put this whole display up in a weekend. Beautiful. Absolutely. Tropical Christmas. Navidad. This is the stingray tank at the Florida Coastal Oceanography Center. Just down the beach here on Hutchinson Island. They're going to be feeding the stingray soon. Quite a few of them in this little tank <coughs> for the crowd assembly to help feed them this morning. We do the feedings about 10.30 in the morning. Nancy's got some shrimp here. Let's see. Got some other people. There's Nancy's hand. Here it comes. Looks like they're eating. We have fed the rays this morning, folks. No. It's one of the southern rays. They're more rounded. We 
got a loggerhead turtle swimming around. Right down in here, you can see it through the water, is a nursing shark. Nurse shark. You can get that turtle out of here. Over by the rocks. feeding and then I'll ask for questions later. I'll name some of the other fish in here. If you haven't, we do have laminated sheets that you can borrow. Felici Prospero Año Nuevo. Dos Mil Catorce. 2014. It's New Year's Eve. The last day of 2013. Walking along Jensen Beach here. This is probably the most sunniest day of our day here, and it's not been any kind of washout, but it's been a bit overcast, so it's not like I'm going to come back like you do on spring break and everything when you come down to a place like this, or Myrtle Beach or wherever you go, after a week in April or May or whatever, check out that cool bird. Just totally tanned, not like my days going to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico back in the 80s where I'd come back looking like I belonged living there instead of back in the United States. Um, but you know, it's just been beautiful out. Uh, just the fact that I've not been sitting in below zero weather. In fact, we've just heard on the news the last couple of days it's going to be quite treacherous when we do get home. So I'm very thankful for this trip and the fact that we've been able to spend it with family, the fact that we've been able to enjoy something different than just being frozen for a few weeks at Christmas time, just to come down here right after Christmas. The water feels good even though it isn't, you know, 90 degrees out and stuff like that. It's a gorgeous day out. The breeze is here, but it's not as cool. I think it was cooler the other day when I was on the beach. Some of the houses down a little further than I went the other day. A lot of rentals in this area. The Treasure Coast is more rentals than it is hotels and and uh, motel kind of tourism. A lot of rentals, a lot of condos and things like that along Jensen Beach and along Hutchinson Island Beach and some of the other ones around here. Not till you get down to West Palm till they get back into the hotel motel kind of beach economy. This area was quite devastated by the three hurricanes of a few years ago and has tried to recover the best it can. I think it was all, it was close to when Katrina hit. There were three of them. There was um, Wilma was the last of them, and then there were two earlier ones. And they weren't the most major hurricanes, but the one, I guess the first one was stronger, the names I can't remember. And then the second one came 
right after the first one was not very strong, but it was when everybody was trying to rebuild from the first one. So it was kind of like, you know, give us a chance. But it, of course, did But there's been a lot more recovery going on here, and I'm sure more to come, but it's just still a nice area. And I'm glad we could come down and visit family and enjoy the surf a couple days and enjoy all the other things we've done. Get ready for Dos Mil Cortorce 2014. We got the lone bird here. Usually you see a group of them. Good little company. Or you don't see them on a strong surf day like this. The tide's coming in. But this one must be looking for something. He's just braving every crash that comes in. Look at him, he's just sticking with it. Then he goes out to hunt some more and he'll come back ashore. Well, the Fox Journal 2014. So, everybody. Live here from the pier at Blue Heron. It's New Year's. Happy New Year, everybody. There's the causeway over there. This is the pier right across from the Marion complex. That whole area of light over there are all the rental condos being a bunch of an island. That is like the rest of the Jensen Beach area. Here's the pier right here. It's kind of windy, but it's warm. Well, warm to my standards, I guess you could say. Warm to where, compared to where I live. I guess compared to where I live, it's quite stormy up there these past few days. And we're going to be walking in there when we get home. But what can you do, you know? It's been a beautiful time. Beautiful place to celebrate New Year's this year. It's about 6 o'clock in the morning. You know, I, I wish I had a live band here, like where the stuff I saw last night. And, and the stuff on NBC and everything last night. And it was going on over Conky Joe's and places like that with their big But oh well. This is quite a place to celebrate New Year's if any. Nice warm breeze coming in. This is the Indian River out here, by the way. Not to be confused with Indian River Central School up north of us. Happy New Year, everybody, live from the pier. Well, one last sunrise, kind of a misty one. We're getting ready to leave, leave Florida, going down to West Palm train station. It's been a great stay, it's been a great stay. Couldn't have asked for anything better.